Hello, my magical friends, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are doing figures. We are doing two different kinds of figures. We're doing, we're a lot, a lot of doing here. We are showing a whole bunch of Harry Potter Funko figures, as well as some Noble Collection figures. And I am so, so excited. I don't have a huge Funko collection. And I will say, I'm not the kind of girl to leave my figures in a box. They are meant to be, in my opinion, displayed out in the open to breathe. Um, my husband makes fun of me sometimes, um, or not makes fun of me, but just laughs at me when I get like a new plush in. I feel like when it's normally in a plastic bag, it's being like suffocated. It feels real to me, okay? They feel real to me and they do not belong in a box. That is just the way I do things. So I will be unboxing all of them and showing the figures up close. A good handful of these um, figures are very, I think, Christmassy, or some are just all year round and they just fit in like animal figures would fit in all year round. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna start, I think, with two older figures, um, Funko figures and they are just very random oh and as far as the places that i got these all over the place um i got some of these in a shop in um a mall i got some of these from amazon i got some of these from noble collection i got some of these from mercari i got quite a lot of them from mercari or ebay so third party especially the older stuff i got one item from walmart so just all over the place um, and this first one I got, I think it was in a mall, and it is the Bloody Baron. So here he is up close, the Bloody Baron. I will say I am looking out for Nearly Headless Nick. Um, love him, want to have him. Um, and I think, you know, I feel like these versions here is the lot that he comes from, which I already have um, this serious Black and I think that's all I have from this line. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm hoping for nearly all this neck, but I saw him um, in a shop and I couldn't resist because I think he was just like $12, which is your average price for a Funko. Uh, and then the next one I got on Mercari for a really good deal because people are charging a little bit more and it is the Flocked Buckbeak. Here he is number 104 um and this one's a hot topic exclusive so let's take buckbeak out i really do love the animals that funko does so here he is up close little buckbeak and if you aren't familiar with flock it's basically kind of a little fuzziness it's a different texture than the typical funko um figures but he i think comes with, um, no, I know, comes with another version, there, or not comes with, there is another version of Buckbeak uh, in Funko form where the eyes are red. Didn't care for that, didn't care for that. Made him look a little, um, <laughs> a little creepy, okay? So we've got Buckbeak with just the solid black eyes. Here is his little rump. He has no trouble standing up whatsoever. I just tested him. Here's the back. There's a little rump there. So cute little buck beak. Oh my gosh. Next up is one item of a group of items. I showed you um, two of these items in the Halloween haul, one of the Halloween hauls for Funko. And those are the Hermione and Harry Potter herbology ones. I had got these from the um, Rose City Comic Con for really cheap let's not knock things over here for really cheap um and so i thought it would be a better deal to get them individually and then get ron well it turned out ron was a little challenging to find but i eventually got him with some patience i would say you would probably get a better deal i did save money but it took longer um just buying the trio because it is sold as a trio i think it's a barnes and noble exclusive so let me open these up um oh actually first let me show you so i got ron that's what I'm showing off here is I got Ron right here with his little mandrake. So let me show you all three. All right, so here are all three up close. I didn't get to show you up close last time, but here is Harry with his little mandrake and earmuffs. If you saw in one of my Christmas hauls, I'll attach a card. 
Um, I got earmuffs that look very much like these, so I'm um, very excited to eventually cosplay. But I feel like Herbology, there's Hermione, and then the new one that I got, as I showed you, is Ronald Weasley. And they all have little mandrakes. I'm hoping one year, because I haven't seen it done, we get Neville in the Herbology style, you know, with him, you know, doing what Neville does. And, uh... Getting that screaming mandrake and passing out. <laughs> so there he is, and there are the three together. But like I said, you can buy all three um, together. Oh, and I didn't notice their earmuffs are all different. So here, take a look at that. You have different coloring on the earmuffs. Very, very cute. You can't really see that in the Funko box. And also what I didn't notice is in this set, we have Nearly Headless Nick, Gilderoy Lockhart, Ginny Weasley and Tom Riddle. So that's where Gilderoy Lockhart, or not Gilderoy, but yeah, I want the Gilderoy Lockhart, but that's where Nearly how this Nick comes from. So there you go. The next section is a section that I'm hoping to expand upon. Like I said, I don't have a huge collection of Funko Pops. And what I will say is I'm not keeping all of my Funko Pops out all the time. I don't really love like things looking cluttered in a sense. Like I love things feeling like, just repetition. I don't know how to describe it, but I like to let things sort of be and breathe and have their time and space and be really highlighted. Um, and so I'm seeing like a lot of things that I have will be out just during Halloween time and I'll pack them up. Like I don't need a bazillion Rons all out at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Um, so these here are from the Yule Ball collection. And I just thought, I mean, of course, Yule Ball is very Christmassy. So I said to myself, I'm going to start collecting the Yule Ball characters so I can have them out around Christmas. I can't be dropping all that dough on all of them. So I only have four right now, um, but uh, we will be getting more in the future. And so I have Padma Patil, um, Parvati Patil, the twins right here. This one I got from um, Toys and Games and Calendars, I think it's called. And as you can see, I just got them for $10 each, so not too shabby. We'll take all of the Yule Ball characters out. And then the other two that I got are Miss Jenny Weasley. Very cute. Love her dress. Love the way that she looks um, as a Funko Pop. And I'll show you in detail up close. And then I got, he was a little trickier. I had to be patient because people were charging a little bit more for him. Um, Ron Weasley in his Yule Ball outfit. So let me show you all four of these. So here they are up close. We have the Patil twins. As you can see, they have like the reverse um, dress as far as color goes, just like they do in the movies. Here are their earrings. And then the back there, really, really pretty. So cute, you can't just have one, you gotta have both of those girls. So there they are. And then we have the two Weasleys. I did forget, there's one more um, Yule Ball character that I have, and she's downstairs in my husband's office, and that is Hermione in her Yule Ball dress. So I'll just pop a little image up over here. She's so cute, um, he has her because he has figures that represent every one of our cats, and one of our cats is named Hermione, which you would have seen in previous videos. Um, and so he has a Funko Pop that represents each one. It's really cute and sweet. Um, but here is Miss Ginny Weasley. I don't know if you can see her adorable freckles around her nose and um, beautiful dress. And here is Mr. Ron in his outfit. So, so cute. Really glad I got him. So like I said, I'll be collecting more of those figures. The one that I really want, the ones that I really want, um, and I'm not sure it's part of the Yule Ball line, is the six inch Hagrid with the Christmas tree. I want that so bad. Um, and Cho Chang is really pretty um, as in her Yule Ball dress. But we'll get there, we'll get there. We gotta start one at a time or a handful at a time. Um, and so the next ones are from the Philosopher's Stone. And I believe these are newer releases, I think. And that is Hermione Granger. And these are ones that felt very Christmassy. I'll show you inside so you can really see it in detail. And we have Harry Potter holding the Philosopher's Stone. So here's Hermione up close. She's in a very like Christmassy sweater. 
that red and green. They always do her hair well. She's very recognizable as Hermione. She's got her little, little shoes and socks and she's got her wand out and ready. And then we have Harry Potter holding the Philosopher's Stone with all the little scratches and soot and stuff in his cute little glasses, of course. But I feel like they feel, I feel like they feel very Christmassy. Um, so I'm excited to show them off. I do feel like the look of him could, since he's a little baiting up there, could fit into Halloween as well. Um, and so the only one that I don't have in that line is the um, Ron with the Devil's Snare right here. And I've seen him in stores, so I don't know. Eventually I'll get him. Next up are two Funkos. We're still going with the Funkos that I feel are really Christmassy. And that is the um, Harry, uh, not Harry. <laughs> We've got a lot of Ronald Weasley. Um, the Ronald Weasley with the cracker in his hand. There he is. I'll show you up close. There's the side, Ronald Weasley. I did get from this line the Christmas Dumbledore. And he's holding a present. So let me show you these. All right, so here is the Ronald Weasley up close with his little cracker in his hand. Um, I actually had to look up and be like, you know, I didn't remember. I know the traditional hat that Ronald Weasley wears because I have it. If you would have seen the Halloween decor video, I had him on my skeleton. Um, we had a dead Ronald Weasley for Halloween because I'm cool. Um, no. We just had fun here, but I didn't remember him in the green hat. So I had to look it up and go, oh, right, right, right. They did take a little leeway, I think, with how they did the shirt and the vest because it's not exactly the same, but I feel like it just looks very Christmassy. And then speaking of which, we have a Dumbledore and here he is with his present. And it's got the little wrap on it. I believe this is the first Dumbledore, if I'm not mistaken, um, based on the outfit and these being earlier on. So super Christmas. Yeah, I have quite a few Dumbledores now. I think I have three now. And he's pretty hefty. Um, his head especially is uh, very hefty, but he's a smart cookie. So I think that's why. All right. And the last group of Funkos, we have three left, are new releases. First up is Dobby with his sock in his book. When he opens it up, and Dobby becomes a free elf. It's the best part for Dobby um, and all of us because we love Dobby as a free elf. Uh, so I will show you that one up close. Actually, let's open that one up now um, because I do not have the rest of these. So we will be doing another haul of Funkos. I have ordered a handful more, um, but for some reason I've noticed that Funkos are they have varying release dates depending on the store. So some stores are getting them earlier and some are not. And I ordered them through GameStop um, and they are claiming a December um, 15th release date, which they haven't really been keeping up their release dates, which makes me reluctant to buy from them. Um, but I had a discount, so why not? Uh, and so that's why I'm still holding on, but I saw them in stores, some of the characters. So hopefully we'll be getting those in mid-December and I will be able to show you them. So let me show you Dobby. Here he is, up close, so, so cute. Oh, that light is just killing me. Here we go. And you can see his little book. There's the side of him. He's not that bright, it's just the light. There we go. Look at that Dobbs. Look at that little Dobbers. So cute, you can't have enough Dobbies. Okay, and then the last um, regular sized Funko, because we got some bigger ones, I'm so excited by. This one is a 2022 Fall Convention Limited Edition, and I got this one on Walmart's website, so um, then I pre-ordered it. And it is the Neville Longbottom with the Cornish, pix Cornish Pixies pulling on his little ears. Well, I gotta show you this one. Okay, I am dying looking at this <laughs> because I haven't I haven't actually opened any of these. I was saving them for the video um, and I'm just chucking the boxes over there because we don't need them in this house. Um, but he is so adorable. He comes on a stand because he's, as you remember from the movie, he's being pulled up in the air by the Cornish Pixies. Here he is. He's so cute. So he's got one on each ear. So there's that little one. And you got the one over there. Here's the back of him so you can see how he's being held up um, by this so that he is sort of floating. And if you remember, 
we have a variety of Cornish pixies in this house, so we'll probably try and locate him near those uh, when we do Christmas decor. But I think he's just adorable. I love that we're actually seeing a Funko like in movement. We don't really, a lot of them are just kind of standing um, and we don't really see them moving, but in this scene he is. So I'm very excited to see that version of Neville. I freaking love it. I don't, you gotta look at that little pixie. Are you kidding me? So, so cute. Okay. The last Funko is a bigger Funko and it's, what do they call these? These are, it says deluxe. These are like the, well, this one's not really a movie moment, but anyway, this is one that I did not pre-order. I pre-ordered a whole bunch of other others, a handful of other um, large ones like this. Um, but I saw it in Target, so I thought I would get it. And that is the um, Dumbledore with the hog's head in. I, I don't have any, I don't think I have any movie moment, um, Harry Potter Funkos or just scenes like this, these bigger ones, because they take up a good amount of space. Well, as I was opening him, I don't know if it was just this way or not, but tell me if you notice um, what is different about this Dumbledore, but there he is up close. Um, his little beard came off right off his little chinny chin chin. But you know what? I'm not gonna sweat it because super glue goes a long way. I'm trying to position it to make sure it will look fine. But um, super glue goes a long way. So I think we can fix him. I'm not gonna sweat it. Um, either that or he just was getting tired of it. You know, you just need a little trim. <laughs> so I can't really show you him um, with it. I, I don't know if it was just that way or not. So let me put him, um, on the hog's head in stand. And just imagine his little beard is a little bit longer. Oh my goodness. Um, and there it is, up close. The hog's head in with Dumbledore in front of it. And I don't know what he's drinking. I'm gonna guess water beer. It looks that color. And I love the little sign on this side. Um, so we, I did pre-order a few more that I think can kind of go next to it, which would be really cool. So, um, so yeah, so that is the last of the Funkos. We are now going to get into three Noble Collection figures. So if you recall from the Inside Halloween Decorate With Me video, we had purchased, and, and some Halloween hauls, we had purchased some, um, um, what are they called? What do they call these? Uh, Magical Creatures line from the Noble Collection. Um, and we had those kind of in little cloches and did fun things to display them. Well, those creatures were a lot more evil. Like we had Nagini, a Dementor, and Aragog. Um, I will say I'm pushing really hard to keep the plush Aragog out for Christmas because I think he's super sweet and I think Aragog has a sweet side. Um, so I'm gonna try and win that debate and leave him out. Um, but the, the magical creatures one we are gonna put away. Um, cause like I said, we're not displaying everything all the time. I want to like give it its space. And you know, sometimes when you display stuff um, for a long period of time, I wouldn't say you lose a love for it, but you, you almost stop looking at it. And I love the idea of just taking something away and like, oh my God, I forgot I had that. Like when we're pulling it out for Christmas or something. Um, so one of the three, we are going to be swapping all three um, that we got from the Magical Creatures line, but I thought it was a little bit happier or just more fitting for um, Christmas time is the first one we got is the Thunderbird. And these Noble Collection items, they come in their own case. And if you remember from those videos, we took them out of the case. I don't really, it's not a display I care for. I think it's beautiful. It's well packaged. It's nice and secure. Like, um, they put a lot of thought. There's also a lot of detail into them and all of them have a background of some sort, but I really like taking them out. So let me show you um, how we can do that. The top comes right off of the magical creature. And what's also cool about these magical creatures. Well, first off, let me show you up close. Um, and this, these are, let's see, all of these magical creatures that I got are from the Fantastic Beast movie. I'm gonna be honest. I don't say that phrase often because I'm I'm generally honest. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that series, but but I am a big fan of the creatures in that series. So um, I yeah, and I love these three creatures that we got. But a thunderbird, I believe, yeah, is represented in the earlier films. Um, but this is um, coming out of Newt's Commander's case suitcase, which is really adorable, and just. Um, 
very beautiful. It's a very monochromatic, uh, This the look on this Thunderbird, but I don't mind. But what I also like about the Magical Creatures is they're all removable. So it blends in with the base, but it can also be removed. So if you remember, what we did is we kind of added something to the base, put it inside a cloche. Uh, it's not the only way to display it. There's so many other ways and we might explore them, but that's probably what we're gonna do this year um, and display these guys. So that's the first one from Noble Collection. The next magical creature from Noble Collection that's again from the Fantastic Beast line is the, the Bow Truckle. I mean, okay, I, I love so many of the creatures in the Fantastic Beast film. And I have, let's see, I have the plush of the Bow Truckle. I have the bendable version from Noble Collection of the Bow Truckle. And now I have this one. So I clearly like the Bow Truckle. I'm a person with attachment issues in general, so, um, you know, I vibe with him. So let's take a look at him. So here is the bow truckle up close. The base of him are leaves. Here's his little face. And what really sold me on the bow truckle was Pinterest. I saw somebody else put him in a cloche and it looked freaking adorable because I was going to use my bendable one, but there's just a bit more detail on this one. And I love the way he's positioned and the fact that he's already on leaves. So we're probably going to play with that, play with the leaves a bit um, as far as the base and have him out. I love him so much. Well, have him like in a cloche. <laughs> so not out completely, um, but he gets to hang out with us. So there he is. And like I said, they are removable. So we will be taking him off and um, using him just like this. Look at that little face. Aren't they the sweetest? Yes, yes, yes. All right, and then the last one you would have seen from the thumbnail is easily the most Christmassy of all of them. And I didn't realize that. Um, I didn't realize just how Christmassy this one is. And that is the Demi Guys. I love the Demi Guys. You would have seen I have a plush of the Demi Guys. I want to get another version of the Demi Guys, but it's a little pricey. So we will wait and see. But the detail on this one is beautiful. And here he is. His magical Demi Guys. Can you tell the Christmassy items in the, here with this Demi Guys? Because you know he get, he's be getting them all them goods. We can't words today. So let's take a look at all the detail. All right, here's the Demi guys up close. So he's got his little bag. You've got a candy cane. What do we got? Ornaments, um, little macaroons in there, if you can see. Look at his adorable little, like, I'm innocent. I'm not doing anything, eyes. And his little feet and these gorgeous blue presents in the back. It's gonna play really well with some of the blues that we're pulling out to represent Ravenclaw because we're gonna be representing every house um, for Christmas. He's so freaking cute. Oh my God, look at that little face. I need to stop moving him around. Here he is. I don't know what I love most about him. His little feet, his little eyes, um, or just the presents and the fact that he's very Christmassy. So that is the last item of this kind of huge Harry Potter figures haul. I think like as far as my favorites, I mean, I love Buckbeak. I love that I have a flocked creature now, but I think, oh, and I also love Ginny. I love her outfit. I mean, she's, she's old news as far as a Funko, but I really, really like her. And I really like this Ron. I think I'm gonna be taking him into work because we need some representation at work. But I think my top favorites are probably Neville, with the Cornish Pixies and the Demi Guys. I'm gonna take him off completely so the presents aren't in there, but the little Demi Guys. Oh my God, I love them so, so much. So I'm so excited to have shown you so I can start decorating with these Funko figures. But there you are, that is the huge, um, huge Harry Potter figures haul from Funko and Noble Collection purchased from all over the place. Let me know down below what's your favorite. What is your favorite Funko or Noble Collection item, um, magical creatures item, if you have any, or what one do you want? Let me know. I still have more acquiring to do. This is just the start. But um, thank you so much for being here. And remember, my magical friends, to love what you love with everything that you have and keep making magic. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.